Risky. A uh, bunch of stations in there. Uh, one of them, the loudest one, cut off halfway through the call sign. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe didn't pay the electric bill. Try it again. KC9 VKV. Whiskey 4, Alpha Whiskey Golf. Alpha Whiskey Golf. That's the one that <laughs> lost the audio in the middle. Uh, hey, Jim. It's been since uh, February 24th, 2017. Uh, this is MJ. Whiskey 4, Alpha Whiskey Golf. And uh, talking to you out of Macon, Georgia. Oh, sounding really good. What radio are you running? Uh, 3,000 yeas. Okay, you're kind of uh, cutting off on your uh, key at the end there pretty quick. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Uh, it's my foot switch uh, is messing up. Uh, should have good copy on me now. Oh, Roger, you do you use your big toe to do that? Yeah, my toe and my cro and my my Crocs. Well, one of them's got a problem because <laughs> you were busted up that last time. Move it closer to you, or or, or uh, get a longer leg or something. Okay, uh, that should be a lot better. I got a better control of it now. Ah uh, yes, yes you do, sir. And uh, so, uh, gosh, uh, what mic are you running there? And uh, one of them's not quite making it. I'm sorry, we doubled. Uh, what mic are you running now? Uh, running the uh, RE27. Ah, uh, Roger that. Uh, gosh, uh, uh, you could uh, get a little more EQ on the top end on it. It might sound a little bit better. Uh, what's your uh, EQ setting now? Uh, the uh, settings are all in the in the radio menu. Uh, I can. Uh, what uh, What do you think I need? A little more mic gain. Uh, I would go with EQ first. I would I would put uh, three clicks top end boost on it at first. Okay, how's that? Did that do anything for it? Yeah, sign it better. Tell me about your antenna system. Yeah, I'm running a uh, off center fed dipole uh, up about 35 feet. Uh, it's a uh, Buckmaster off center fed dipole. It's been up for a long time. Uh, Roger that. And now, um, uh, can you bring your ALC meter up real quick? Yeah, ALC is uh, is pumping up. Uh, my uh, mic gain is about 21 setting. All right, uh, don't worry about the mic gain setting. Uh, just uh, look at your your ALC, and you want to run, the, run that ALC at mid-scale to two-thirds. You know, that you just use that mic gain to, to turn it to where the ALC is reading mid-scale to two-thirds. Yeah, okay, it's, uh, I'm going to turn it down and turn it down a little bit more. How about right there? How does that sound? All right, now you need your compressor in at about a three. Your compressor in at about a three. This is KC9 VKV and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. Uh, right now we're working with W4AWG, and uh, after that, uh, you give me a shout and we'll work on yours. Uh, KC9 VKV. Uh, Jim, you know, the, my processor is turned on now. Uh, I'm not sure what the setting is on it. There's a bunch of settings in the uh, EQ in that. All right, the uh, main thing is uh, that you're in your widest mode possible. You want to be in the widest uh, mode, operation uh, bandpass mode possible. Roger. Yeah, I'm running, I think, 2,900 on the top side. Yeah, Roger that. And uh, uh, talk to me for just a minute about your radio there, something uh, that you like about it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, using the FTDX3000. Uh, yeah, I really like the radio. I've been off the air for about a year, though. So, knocking the dust out of it. Uh, 
Still got some, uh, you know, refresher. I'm running a, uh, have a uh, IC9100. Got another Yezu 991A. And uh, running, uh, running through a uh, AL80B amplifier. Roger, Roger. And now what you're getting out of the amp? Say that again. How much are you getting out of your amplifier? About uh, around 900 watts, probably. Roger that. Roger that. Well, I think it's sounding pretty good. Uh, your dynamic range uh, seems to be about uh, about 2 dB or 3 dB, somewhere in there. Yeah, you recorded me uh, back in, uh, you put it on uh, YouTube uh, February 24th, 2017. You said I sounded pretty good then, so maybe I got a few settings off now. I've got an I plus, uh, so I use the uh, RE27 through the ICOM and the uh, Yezu simultaneously or with a you throw of a switch. And I'm running another uh, power amplifier through the ICOM. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd say hello and uh, you're sounding real good and clear. I don't know if I'm on your local antenna or one of the SDR antennas, but uh, you sound real good today, too. Uh, thank you, sir. And, uh, yeah, you're coming through my uh, local antenna. And I have found, uh, for whatever reason, and I'm not sure why, but the um, incoming SDRs uh, do not have uh, very flat frequency response in the bottom end. And I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, they should uh, be uh, fairly linear down to uh, 50 cycles, I would think. I mean, uh, you know... Uh, I don't know why, but uh, they they seem to be a lot lighter on the bottom end than uh, my uh, uh, radio. Uh, well, I run a, a Yezu 990, uh, which is about a 30-year-old radio, but it has been uh, fairly uh, uh, modified top and bottom, uh, incoming and outgoing. And uh, the last was um, where well, you take a spectrum analyzer and you put it on the audio output, and uh, what you want to see uh, without any other signals, just the band pass, you want to see uh, uh, flat across the uh, the analyzer from uh, the, the very bottom end, um, like uh, 50 cycles uh, up on to uh, 6K or something like that, because the band pass, you know, can be fairly broad, whereas uh, uh, the restriction comes in the uh, transmitters that uh, are uh, coming in, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Uh, yeah, I was just looking through my notes here on uh, how to set, how to change. I got to change my power. It's either you on setting the power or you can set the processor level. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna mess with uh, going to the menu right now, but uh, yeah, you're uh, you're uh, still running that 990. That's a, that's a great radio. I used to have one of those. I was, probably uh, at least uh, 15 years ago. One of the many, uh, many radios that I've gone through. I think I'm sticking with what I got right now. I got a bunch of, uh, you know, playing now with my 991A. I'm, I'm working, using it down in the workshop. And I hadn't got the HF antenna switching set up on it. I'm gonna use the same antenna have to switch it through the uh, Alpha Delta switch up here in the main ham shack. So the antenna comes in through the window and then goes through the Alpha Delta and then back out through the window and down into the workshop in the garage. Uh, Roger that. Well, you need a map. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, a cast of characters, uh, whatever they call that, uh, so you know who's where, who's on first, and that's a routine there. But uh, listen, you're sounding great. I would uh, get the uh, the tape out and tape everything down, Roger. And and when you listen, uh, I think you'll agree. You're you're absolutely perfect right now. Just don't change a thing. Let it let it happen, Captain. Okay, that's uh, that's what I was in the Air Force. Uh, yeah, okay, Jim. Maybe you put me on the uh, YouTube channel, and uh, really nice talking to you. You're doing a real good, fine job for a lot of amateur radio operators out there. 
So I uh, hope you keep up the good work and I hope your health is good. I'll let you go on to the next guy. 73, good talking to you, buddy. W4AWG in Macon, Georgia. I'm clear. Roger, Roger. And what's the name there, please? And was MJ. MJ. MJ in Macon, Georgia. Roger. Roger. All right, sir. Three's that way, and you have a real good afternoon and a great weekend. And uh, thanks for checking in. And uh, if you get a chance, uh, check in next Friday, and we'll uh, compare notes. Uh, this is KC9 VKV, and we're rapidly approaching turning into a pumpkin at 5. So if you've got a radio you want to check out, uh, give me a shout. KC9 VKV.